G oh, large screen. GM and welcome to a new video. Let's talk about abstract mainnet. The mainnet launched and in this video I want to go step by step through everything, how to set up your accounts, what to do, how the incentives look like, how the whole portal looks like. So basically this is your how to abstract at least for the first couple of days before they probably will integrate more features and options. You can watch all the previous videos in my abstract series. I got them linked here as well. But now let's talk about the mainnet. It's finally here. This is the website abs.xyz. Always make sure that you're on the correct page. As I said, there was a lot of scams. There will be a lot of scams because there was a lot of hype. What you want to do is go to the site. You can see here that they have the different spotlight apps, some tokens, the live streams and all the different apps. But what we actually want to do is log in now. But before we do this, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and send this video to your friends to onboard them to abstract. Now let's go. How do we actually start with the abstract mainnet? It's a bit different to other chain launches because they have the AGW. And what that means is that it doesn't matter if you sign up with a wallet, which would be this year, another wallet, then you can choose from your EVM wallets or via email or actually via Google. They are using Privy for this. And what we want to do is sign up via email because it really doesn't matter if you sign up with the wallet because they create a new wallet for you anyways. So I think it's safer in terms of getting access back to your account to do this via email. You can still send funds from another wallet there. In the long run, there should be the option to link wallets. It's not there yet, which is not ideal in my opinion, but yeah, let's go. Let's sign up with an email step by step. I'm going to enter my email. You enter a code that you receive via email. Now I got an email that gives me a code. Log into abstract. I'm going to paste this code here. You probably know this by a lot of apps by now. And then you can actually see my wallet and what I have in here. I already did a couple of things. This is the portal. This is the start page where you add. If you start from scratch, then you actually just see the wallet as zero dollars and you don't have anything here. What I have now is I have some ETH in here. And this is probably the first thing that you want to do as well. Fund the wallet to actually start. And there's different options for that. You can go here and click on fund and then you get several options. So what you can do is enter an amount in dollars. For example, I want $10 and then it shows the amount in ETH or you can actually go in here and say, okay, I got 0 0.0 ETH on another wallet, for example, then I can send this to me here. So you have several options here. What you can basically do is use the bridge function here and it has some presets already in here that because it already puts the send to wallet in here. So that actually is if you check here, let's go back. This is my wallet. OX8E8A AA8 in the end and they close the window. Gotta love it. Um, I want to let's say I wanted to bridge 0.1 ETH. I would go here. And then I would actually see that this is the correct address, right? And it closes again. But as you can see, this is the correct address. One last time, 0.1. No, I want 0.1 ETH. Click on a bridge. And then I could actually use another wallet that I have connected to Jumper Exchange. And this would be the main net right now. It would cost about 76 cents. But if you have funds on, let's say, base, 
you had some ETH here, then you could actually bridge this here. The only thing that once you change this from mainnet to another L2, then you actually need to go in here, put in the amount again, if I had 0.1 here, and then click here and enter the wallet address. I would do this in this way. Copy here, reopen the tab that I just closed. And then I could, I did this by pressing Command Shift T on a Mac. Then put my address in here, then confirm it. And once you did this, then you can actually bridge from your other wallet, which would only cost one cent now or less than a cent to actually bridge this to the mainnet. Although there is fees of 0.06% as fees. So basically you get a bit less than what you send if you use the bridge. All right, then you have funds and here if you use this route, you can also just use jumper or relay and then just go from here. Let's say I have funds on ApeChain, for example, um, that I want to transfer there. Let's say I have 10 Ape, I want ETH on abstract then I could also actually do this here, bridge this with my wallet where I have the e where I have the ape on and then actually go here and send funds manually, copy the address and send from another wallet there. You can also send some money from a central exchange, buy it via Coinbase or MoonPay. This is how you can actually fund your account. And maybe just start by doing this yeah step by step i just started with 0.01 eth that i sent to this wallet to try everything out one thing that you want to do is add abstract to your wallet doesn't matter if it's metamask rabbi phantom magic eden or whichever wallet you're on you can click here then it opens your abstract wallet address in the abstract block explorer then you can connect to the website make sure it's appscan.org if you go through the portal then you should be good but double checking is uh, never wrong go down click to add abstract you connect to the site and then you can add the rpc then you are good to go to basically see abstract in your wallet. If you have any trouble doing this, feel free to comment under the video. Once you have actual funds, you can uh, see that this is the, the wallet dashboard. If you click on discover, then you can see some spotlight apps that you can try out. Magic Eden, probably most of you know them. They now have abstract edit as well. There's also the first mints here. And what you can then do is, for example, Mint this green Emmy from Magic Eden themselves, a free open edition to celebrate Magic Eden's launch on Abstract. So this is a free mint, costs about, let's see how much it costs, probably less than a cent to mint this. And then actually you collected your first collectible on, uh, Magic Eden is down right now, the launch pad at least. Then you actually have your first collectible. There's lots of other apps that you can try out. There's the trending tokens, the live streams, but where we want to go now is to the rewards tab. You can earn badges and earn experience points. The first things that you want to do is connect your Twitter or X and this shows up here as well. And I think on the discover page or in the wallet, it also shows up directly. And once you connected to your X account and your Discord account, you can claim those badges. But as I said, you need to fund your wallet for this. If you have certain roles on the Discord, then you get a multiplier. I have the 125% bonus, I think because I have the elite chat with this Discord account. So this gives me a bonus. What else? fund your account. You can also claim this badge then. You just click on them once the badge unlocks and then you can click on it and claim the badge. The next badge that we want to take a look at is the app voter. And we can do this if we click on discover and then we go down and then we see explore all apps. 
you can upload the apps that you know and like. For example, I know Magic Eden, so I upvoted it. You can't unvote, so make sure that you just vote for the ones that you actually like. For example, I upvoted Bleaver because I really like their launchpad. And you can see a lot of projects down here or apps. You can also sort them. And once you clicked on the first to actually upvote them, like here, then it takes a bit of time and then you can claim the badges. If it doesn't show up even after a minute or so, you can click here to refresh and then you should be able to claim it. The last one that you can claim right now as a badge is the trader. And you can do this if we go here to trade, then you can actually trade tokens. For example, I traded 0.001, I think, or 0.002, something like that in Vibe. And if you click on the token here, I could also search for it. If I search for Vibe, then I click on it. Then I have the possibility to choose from the different coins that I have. If I would go in here, I could say I want to trade 0.001 ETH in Vibe. Then I see what I get out of this. You also see the chart here. You can switch between the different time frames. You see the market cap, the volume, the total supply and the contract address. And then you can see here that I actually bought 0.002 ETH worth of Vibe. Then you can click on review. You see that the gas cost here, to be honest, a bit high in my opinion for an L2 because on other chains there's definitely less for a simple token swap but we'll see if this is just the uh, starting days then you click on review you see this again it's locked in and then you click on trade also if you have the token you want to send it to an other uh, address then you just put in here for example i want to set send 100 vibe the buttons don't work uh, right now to another address or if you want to receive it then copy your address and someone else can send them to you and once you actually trade it here for anything then you can also claim this trader badge and then the first couple of experience points should show up for your account what else is there to do we have the last thing that we didn't take a look at here because okay we have the for the developers you can take a look here watch some tutorials uh, dev support learn more about the global wallets the abstract events and that kind of stuff but um, for most of you the streams are probably interesting I showed this in the last video, you can sign up as a creator. I did this as well and I know a lot of people, but only a very limited amount got approved so far. Let's see if and how many people are or will be approved in the future. Then you can actually go in here. Let's say we want to watch this one here, then you can play it. And then you can post and chat with the creator. Let's go back, let's check this one out and you can chat with them and uh, send them a tip in ETH, USDC or Pangu to tip the streamer. So the streamers can actually get tipped like a Twitch, but um, with crypto. Now, the last things that you can do is uh, security settings recommended to factor authentication. I will definitely set this up for this one here for this account and on the profile, you can't really change your profile picture except <laughs> you can choose out of, out of those four different ones. So basically everyone looks the same. And also the, the different tiers here unlock different cover photos. So I guess that this will be something that will be shown in the future. And you can click on edit profile, then you can put in your name, you can um, add a description, you see your abstract address and you can also see the social links and disconnect or connect Discord or X. And that's basically everything that you can do right now in the portal. It feels pretty good. I'm definitely missing the link wallets 
possibility, but I think that will follow soon because I already minted um, the abstract hot dogs, for example, and I would have definitely wanted to do that with my wallet here, but I was on the allow list with another wallet. Yeah, I hope that I can link this other wallet and then also get some experience points here. Maybe one last thing, there's also the flash badges that are only available for a couple of days or hours, depending on the different uh, things. This is if you play multiply it, we can go here, discover, this is um, this one here, visit app. But actually you need a password to go in there. So I don't have one yet. I think basically everyone is looking for the pass phrase to get in. Gotta stay tuned. Then as the really last thing, I wanted to highlight the post from Vato who always puts out great content. So make sure to follow him on X. And he wrote something that I really liked. Be careful with meme coins on abstract. This is what I told you in the video that I uploaded yesterday. Actually, all early coins dumped in the first hour massively. I was on a flight, so I didn't have time to buy into any of those. Kind of glad it went that way. But over the last hours, also Vibe launch dropped their token. This is this one, Vibe. If we go back... Um, we can go to trade and then actually see it here on the, the top tokens. We can see Vibe here, right? Vibe is the pump dot fund for abstract and is currently sitting at 3 million market cap. If you are interested in meme coins on abstract, check out the ecosystem, but be careful. It's still low liquidity, everything. So yeah, be careful, but Vibe is basically the pump dot fun. So you could definitely check out Vibe and their ecosystem. Yoop is the first meme coin on Abstract launched on Moonshot and broke its all-time high from yesterday currently sitting at 5.3 million market cap. So this post was like six hours ago. Let's take a look. Yoop is here. So both of them are actually down since this post. Yeah. So be careful what you put your money uh, into. That's all you can do right now in the abstract portal. Let me know how you like the experience. If you think that abstract really did something great here, if they maybe rushed it a bit because uh, some features like the link wallets aren't there and some other stuff is missing in your opinion, just let me know in the comments and then see you again in the next video.